Sayani, we all your best. Poor and outspoken, Musa Khalfan is not the type of Emirati usually seen on television. The divorcee has fallen on hard times, living in squalor for years. She'd like to change things, but doesn't have the right to vote. Only a section of people here do. The 57-year-old is from Ras al Khaimah, one of the lesser-known Northern Emirates. Ras al Khaimah is not like Dubai or Abu Dhabi. They're better than Ras al Khaimah. But thanks be to God, I accept my fate. It's my lot in life. In March, the government agreed one and a half billion dollars to the poorer Emirates to address the imbalance. Locals in cities like Dubai enjoy a luxurious standard of living. And the difference is clear to see, despite Ras al Khaimah being just an hour down the road. And it's hoped this election will in some way go to expanding democracy as well. The national vote is only the second in the country's 40-year history, but the voters are state-picked, and the people they are voting for have virtually no legislative powers. In 1971, when the country was founded, at that time, people, the country was ready, just like anybody else, like all other countries. But so, in, in a way, we are really late. And we are starting with a baby step two. This is really too little, not just too late, but also too little. There are 40 seats on the UAE National Council. 20 will be elected on Saturday. The other half will be nominated by the rulers of the country's seven emirates, who hold absolute executive power. As popular revolutions spread across the Arab world, here in the United Arab Emirates, long considered one of the most progressive of the Arab states, only modest gains towards democracy are being made. This time, 130,000 people will cast their vote. It's a lot more than the 6,000 who did so the last time, five years ago, but it still remains just a small fraction of the population. For many like Musa, making a living is more important right now than politics. But voices for change in her country could become louder in the future, as this experiment with democracy, however modest, changes the status quo. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, United Arab Emirates.